how to insert date and time in Microsoft Excel whenever a checkbox is checked. So I got a project recently where I had to create a to-do list where whenever I write something in the to-do list, a serial number will be placed automatically in column A. And the second task I had was to create from control checkbox in bulk. And the third task I had is to add a timestamp whenever I check mark this checkbox. So the project will look like this if I write here the serial number is automatically placed here and when I click on this check mark date and time of the check mark is placed here okay so it's the timestamp of checking this status option let me show you how you can do it let's get started <laughs> Here I have a formula in the serial number column that I have already created a tutorial on. You can either copy the formula from here or you can check this tutorial. Then I have the to-do list column. Here I will write my to-do list. And the third part is the status where I have already created checkbox. If you want to create multiple checkbox at a time, you will have to select this range and run the pre-written VBA code which I have already shown in a tutorial. So if I run this macro at checkbox, it will automatically create checkbox for us. Okay. Now another part is that if I check mark, you can see we have true and false written just below this cell. So if you want to hide it, you will have to select the range and then change the font color to white. Okay. So we have a tutorial on automatic serial number. We have a tutorial on multiple checkbox creation. Okay. You can check all those tutorial and you can apply it in this scenario. And now we need a new code to create a timestamp. Okay. So let me remove it. So to add the video code, we'll have to click on the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab, please check out this video. And once you have added the developer tab on your ribbon, you'll have to click on visual basic and then click insert and then click module. Okay. Now you'll have to write the code. I have already written the code and you can copy it from here or I will leave a link in the description for you. You can copy the code from there. Okay. In this code, it will check if we have check marked added to our checkbox or not. If it's added, then we are going to add timestamp. Okay. And then we'll auto fit the entire column. This is the code. Okay. So our code is ready. I'm going to close the VVE. Now I'm going to click on page layout tab and here we'll find the selection pane. If I click here, you can see here we have our selection pane. Click on any checkbox here. It will select that checkbox. And now if I press control A, it will select all the checkbox. It's working because we don't have any other shapes here. If you have any other shapes, you will have to click on this checkbox manually by pressing control. Okay. So once we have selected all our checkbox, I'm going to right click on the checkbox itself and I'm going to click on assign macro. Here I'm going to select the second macro we just added, which is checkbox timestamp. I'm going to select it and I'm going to click OK. Now I can close the selection pane and I can click anywhere in our worksheet to unselect those checkbox. Okay. Now if I click here or if I check mark here, you can see timestamp is added here. So if I write another task here, serial number automatically placed because of our formula, our checkbox is already created. If I check mark here, this is our date and time. This is what I wanted to show you. Now remember you must save this workbook as .xlsm format, okay? Because if you don't do that, the next time you open your workbook, it will not work. Also you can say we can easily add timestamp using formula, but the problem is that whenever you open the workbook, it will change the timestamp, but we don't want it. This is why we used VVA. This is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.